Welcome to the Wake Up Dad Show. This is episode number 36. Wake up, Dad! Are you confused and overwhelmed about your role in all the craziness that is being a dad? Are you struggling to create the life you hope for? Are you looking for other dads to share your struggles and your triumphs? Or do you just need help waking up in the morning? Join your host, Dr. Scott Vatcher, as he explores the amazing and sometimes crazy world of being a dad. This is the Wake Up Dad Show. Hey, Dad, and welcome to another episode of the Wake Up Dad Show. This show is dedicated to you, the dad who wants more. More success, time, health, fitness, connection, passion, and all-around awesomeness. I'm your host, Dr. Scott, and on today's episode, I want to talk to you about this idea of being busy. Is busy good, or is busy bad, or can it be either or both? Just, uh, Just do a little experiment for me, and just take note of what people say when you ask them the question, How's it going? Hey, mate, how's it going today? Or how was your day? Or what's happening this week? Or how was last week? Or any sort of question about how things are going in somebody's life. And I bet you if you do a poll seven times out of ten, maybe eight, maybe nine times out of ten, you're going to hear something around the idea of, man, it's busy. And, you know... I agree, really. It is busy, isn't it? But is being busy for the sake of being busy a good or a bad thing? You know, when you hear the question out loud like that, you probably go, well, duh. Absolutely, without a doubt, being busy for the sake of being busy is not a good thing. You know, being busy and achieving something is a totally different game than being busy and not really getting anywhere. Because you know what, guys? Life is busy in today's world, isn't it? As a dad, man, it's it's busier than it's ever been. You know, uh, we've talked about this numerous times in the show already, but, you know, just one or two generations ago, dad's major uh, role for the family was being a provider. So he got up in the morning and he went to work, and he did his thing at work, he came home after work, and if if he was home early enough, he might have helped out a little bit with the kids, getting them to bed, but he might have come home later than that, and uh, that was about it, so, uh, you know, life was busy then, of course, but it is even busier now in today's modern dadhood, we gotta be, we've gotta have Oh, so much on our plate happening at one time, not just being the dad, but being a parent, being the spouse, being the worker, being the provider, being somebody who wants to do something with their life, being wanting to be fit and active, wanting to have a passionate relationship. And, and all of these things take work, 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 work. There's things that need to be done. And so you want to have anything close to the life that you dream of you know, to wake up to in the morning instead of the nightmare that you might go to sleep to. It's, it's about being busy, but is it productive busy or is it just busy for the sake of being busy? And I'll tell you, this is, you know, this is something that I uh, struggle with fairly often in my own life is that if I feel that there's some time to myself that I'm not doing something as an achievement, then I start to get down on myself. Oh, I should be doing more. I should be hustling more. I should be more active. I should be doing more to achieve my goals. But sometimes I fill that space with being busy and not productive. And it's it's a quite a challenging balance to get between the two. And so one of the one of the big ways to start looking at that is what can you delegate to somebody else? What are the things in your life that you're doing that 
you don't need to be doing that somebody else can be doing for you and possibly even doing a better job and freeing your time up to fulfill your purpose. And so, first of all, you got to know what your purpose is. P number one, guys out there, dads listening, you got to know what that is because without taking stock of what your purpose is, then you're just you're just walking in this walking west looking for a sunrise. You know, you, there's no direction to what you're doing, and then that is the absolute trap. The so easy to fall into trap of being busy but really not achieving anything towards where you want to go, what you want to get in and out of your life. So having that purpose in your mind's eye and reviewing that very often is so crucial, so crucial to having anything change. And so you got to know what your purpose is so you know which direction that you're headed in. And then on top of that, if you delegate or break down not not delegate break down what you're doing on a daily basis and seeing okay does this put me towards my purpose and goals or is it taking me away from because if it's not putting you in the direction of then of course you've got to have a think about is it fulfilling another need or purpose in my life that's important but just not towards that and those are things like downtime like you know, just getting out and, and doing things that you love, but not necessarily geared towards what uh, your big pictures are. And that's absolutely fine to have those things. Uh, like, you know, going to play golf. You know, I mean, that you could put that under power or fitness, but really, I mean, it's not a massive amount of fitness involved in that. It's more just downtime, getting together with friends and things like that. So it's it's a brilliant way to go about things. But you know, you got to have a look and say, okay, that is something that I am choosing to do regardless of whether it's taking me in a direction that I want to go. But on top of that, then you got to then look at the things that you are doing that are putting you towards your purpose and goals and say, okay, who else, who else can do this? You know, a good example is that just recently for myself, I had had a bookkeeper and an accountant who were doing different things and they were and I was the go between and I was doing a lot of extra work and eventually just decided to bite the bullet and and have my accountant my bookkeeper from the same company although it did cost me a little bit more money in the end I looked at it and went well that's actually not nearly as much difference in cost as I thought it would be but the time and energy and freedom it's given me to pursue the things that I'm good at and leave those things that I'm not great at up to other people who are good at them has made such a dramatic impact uh, on my just day-to-day and weekly life that I've got an extra probably two to three hours a week. And that might not seem like a lot, but that is an extreme amount of time. Two to three hours a week can be the difference between being the fitness level that I want and being a couch potato. It could be the difference between... Um, you know, multi, multi figures, uh, five figures, six figures over a year in my providing skills for my family. It could be time towards my uh, purpose, time towards better parenting, time towards all of the five Ps with just freeing up a couple hours a week. So where in your life, this is the dad work for this week, guys, where in your five Ps, where in your life, your purpose, power, parenting, providing or passion are you doing things that are just busy and not productive or are which are the areas are you doing things that can be delegated to somebody else to free up more time to pursue your bigger picture goals so guys that's it for this week remember an ancient proverb once said for a man to achieve his dreams he must first wake up dad this is your wake up call you are not alone we're in this together all for one and one for all Do you want to know more about the Wake Up Dad movement? Go to www.thewakeupdadshow.com to download any and all past issues of the show, claim your free gift, or to directly ask Dr. Scott any questions you have. Continue the conversation on the Facebook group, Wake Up Dad. Share this podcast with other dads on iTunes or Google Play. Make sure to subscribe to the show and give us a rating so we can reach more dads. And dads, one last thing. Wake up!